Hello guys, welcome to TechMod and today we are going to learn about how to test an API using phrasebee.js. So uh, let's get started. So uh, let's, let's move on to a uh, table of contents. So table of content includes that we, have, we are going to first of all uh, learn about what is phrasebee.js, how we can get started and how to install certain kind of dependency in it and we will write certain advanced test cases in, uh, of our API test cases that we are going to do and general and we will try to do some net nested test cases and if we uh, know about it then we will try to run them in a docker probably in the next tutorial so let's get started so what is a frisbee.js so frisbee.js is a basically uh, it's a rest api testing framework and it's basically created by okta okta is a if you know it's a famous famous company which basically provide one uh, multi auth for websites it's a one one step click multi auth for websites generally and so frisbee.js is an open source project of them and it's a basically the easiest i can say i have used lots of the uh, api testing frameworks but it's a very easiest to easiest one and the very simplest one if you wanted to use it and suppose if you have very uh, small uh, kind of requirement of api testing then frisbee.js probably is the your best bet to go for it all right so uh, where it can be used so uh, you you can use frisbee.js to write your straightforward api test cases with response code verification and suppose you have certain response object that you want to verify with your expected data then it will be very helpful in that case uh, or sometimes you want your response object to verify your that it has correct properties values and it has a certain type on it then definitely you can use it it's a promise based basically so uh, if you know that promise things in the javascript basically you wanted to uh, test it out if this happened then this will happen kind of things then frisbee.js is your kind of uh, is a better choice for you uh, it uses basically jasmine style suggestion and checks so uh, if you have used previously like expect this to be equal to this and all then definitely frisbee.js is for you and internally it uses basically just framework to uh, test it out so just is a basically a test framework which uh, which is created by facebook so uh, it's a basically you can say very new technology and it's based on very new technology so let's get started so uh, the, the first part that we are going to do is that uh, we have you must have installed node.js on your on your machine and after if you have installed the node.js on your machine what you can do is that you can just install uh, using npm your the just just framework and after that you have installed the just framework what you can do so is that uh, you have to do is that uh, you can create a directory name so uh, how do you get how do you make a get request using frisbee uh, it's a very simple when you have created a frisbee or frisbee uh, reference variable uh, by requiring it you just call frisbee.get and your url part and after that after dot method you can expect whatever the so a response code that you're getting and if you wanted to verify your body and all you can just do uh, call dot then method and you will have a data part where data part you can just parse it out and expect whatever it is it will make more sense in next demo just bear with me similarly if you wanted to make post request put request delete request basically the http request methods you have to do the similar things you just call them with your frisbee dot get uh, methods and after that in post you can just directly pass your json object containing title and content all right similar uh, the, the, the another main advantage of frisbee is that it provides global setup it's a kind of thing basically you can say global parameter if you wanted to set it up for example i uh, i want to have some authorization first to for example i this api required authorization first so what i can do is that i can pass that thing into a global setup as a header with authorization basic is equal to buffer username password and whatever it is so basically this authorization method or whatever the string uh, the authorization things for the api will be available to all the requests that we are going to test it out in the frisbee in the next eight blocks right similarly with the setup method if you wanted to have a uh, if before running something in your it block you wanted to set it set it up something you can use setup before that after and after that you can use your sav method for example get post and what put and delete whatever it is all right so uh, the important point where we 
generally look at it uh, so it's a basically kind of assertions and expectation what how we can expect something or what kind of assertion this frisbee.js supports so uh, it basically supports all the things that that we can think about it for example if you wanted to ex uh, see what kind of status it is running what kind of headers we are getting and if you wanted to verify json json types and if could not contain json and also all the things that you can think about it possibly in the invalid api testing you can do in the frisbee js uh, so if you wanted to nest, do nested nested uh, basically kind of uh, it blocks you can what you can do is that just do risky uh, return dot frisbee dot get url and dot then and after that continue whatever the next uh, you wanted to do it for example there is a particular post that you wanted to get for example in this uh, example you make a first request to get a post and whenever you find the id and you wanted to pass it to the next request you can do it in using nested frisbee test cases so the, this is the last part basically the inspectors and uh, we'll move to demo after it so inspectors what we are do, uh, it do is that basically if anybody call these kind of functions basically these print the formatted and uh, sped json in the console so if you want to inspect or basically see all the output in the console then definitely use these methods in your test cases and you will get the results according to your uh, whatever the json that you're getting it's a demo time so uh, I would suggest you to go to this URL and download certain specs. If you don't know, you can just follow along with me. All right. So I have my uh, console open it, and right now I have I am in a directory API testing right now. So what we are going to do is that uh, we'll basically follow these commands. We are going uh, basically creating one and uh, node project, and uh, I'm going to just pass it out. Uh, let me close this things. I'm going to just say yes, 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 whatever it is. Yes. So as you can see, the uh, package or JSON is created. And uh, after that, before that, I want to create certain directories as I told you. Uh, one, give me one second. So it's a basically kind of thing like make directory p underscore underscore test. Am I right? Yes. Underscore underscore slash API. And here we have created and I have opened it into our uh, web storm. And what I'm going to do is that just copy paste this to API directory. And yeah, I'm pretty sure about it. E e do you want to know? Okay, now I have package or JSON. So we have to install certain dependencies. Let's install certain dependencies first. So Frisbee, we are going to install. Let's switch to console and npm install frisbee and save dev. Basically, we are saving uh, the dependency of frisbee into our package.json. So, save dev is basically that kind of options. And it's done. Now, we have to install just also. Uh, you can install it direct like this. Or another way I will suggest to use that if you wanted to use it just frequently, you can install globally also. So, after this. Uh, this done we, uh, we are going to install just globally also for, so so it's it's basically kind of easy thing if you want to do do it so let's wait for a few seconds and it's done so uh, what we can do is that we can install globally also so i'm going to install just globally because i wanted to run so minus d and just that's all it takes and it's done so uh, what we are going to do is that uh, as you can see the node module is already created in it. So package.json has our dependency just for SB, whatever it is. Yeah, it's fine. So uh, the first thing that we have to see is that uh, this is our first test. Just let me zoom it out if you wanted to see. Probably you are seeing it. Uh, let me settings font. Uh, let me do it 15. Apply. Okay. Yeah. So what I have done is that I created a one constant of frisbee and I have done what uh, I have basically required it. And this is how you write your first frisbee test. So basically these are it blocks. The first they take is this. The first one is the message one. And the second is the one callback function they take. So what you are going to do is that uh, you just write your first whatever it is your message. Uh, and you what you do is that uh, here you just pass one functions. And the function it's going to return the frisbee.get basically kind of frisbee objects 
So we are just calling frisbee dot get the URL that we wanted to go and expecting a particular kind of status. So I can what I can do if you want if I wanted to run it, let me just clear it out. I just need to like pass this like minus t just minus t and I have to basically specify the test underscore and underscore spec dot js. So basically it's going to run it. Let's see how it's good. So it okay. Test suit fails because skipped run all the test matching. All right. So what we are going to just let me do one thing. Uh, let's create a new directory. Let's call it temp, and uh, let's move all all of them to temp. Except for the the one that we wanted to run it, because uh, it's going to search in this directory and API, and after that it's going to see if. So we are going to run just only command. It's going to search in this directory, and if after that it moved to this directory, and we're going to run this test. And as you can see, should should be a tape out is passed. All right, cool. So let's move our test to temp now. Yes, and what I what we wanted to test now. Second thing is that we wanted to do post so we just move that post one to here so it's it's a simple one so uh, and again we are we have created the frisbee object and in this uh, we are going to return we are going to do a post request with this json object and it will run fine but this url is actually doesn't exist so it will give you error and similarly if you wanted to delete it you just pass the delete function i can see i can Show you this thing, but uh, it will not make sense because since the URLs are the dummy, and it will not make sense. Okay, so we are going to completely do this thing. Let me do the, the real one. Yes, this is the real one. Random user. Okay, so this is one of the API basically. But whenever do your request, this is a working here, working API. Let me do. Let me switch to this and show you how it look like. So this is an API basically. It represents certain kind of JSON object, and what we are going to do is that uh, basically what we are doing is that we just do a frisbee dot get, and after that we just expect if the 200 is coming or not, and then this is a promise basically. Uh, what we are calling the function, and we pass the response object. So after passing the response object, it it would the response dot body contains our data, whatever it is, the response that we are getting. So data is this part basically, kind of this thing. And data dot results basically that will make sense, right? Data dot results and it's an array, so zeroth element of user, zeroth element of user dot gender dot gender. So basically, what we are doing uh, doing is that we are just verifying that this gender contains female or not. That's all. That that's all our test. So let's save it and run our test and hopefully it will run fine. Let me find it. Just Let's see if just is able to do it, run it, run it or not. Yes, it is. And as you can see, console has written the female and test test case as well. So this is how you can uh, write your test cases in Frisbee. And uh, these are the basic tests that I have discussed. Uh, these are the expect with headers. There are certain examples. This is the inspect. If you wanted to inspect this, uh, let me show you this one also. So let's move our temp to temp and console ones. So this is but what what exactly this will do? Uh, just go to the URL and whatever the JSON which is coming, it is going to print it out in the uh, console. So let's do just uh, probably capital one will not much of sense. Yeah. So whatever the result of the coming uh, as a JSON, it just printed out in your console. So that's uh, all about in the Frisbee uh, test cases. So API testing with Frisbee. And so if you have any To have any doubt, any to do, any kind of uh, problem that you are facing around, so just let me know. And uh, I hope you like this video, and please share with your friends and all. And uh, let me let's see in the next let let's see you in the next one. All right, bye guys.